Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. It's me, EchoCraft. So what you're seeing on the screen right now is a company called Liquid Stands. I found this company, Liquid Stands, on Amazon, actually, and I really like it. Um, and I, I just saw how useful and how versatile it actually is. And if you, I'm just take my mouse here and just show you right here, these points right here, and these, these two right here, the second tier, it's amazing how adjustable this thing is. Um, I have used stands in the past. Actually, some of the stands in my studio are stands like um, on stage, ultimate support, great stands. But I'm looking at this stand and I'm seeing how versatile this stand it also has right here a little, um, uh, this is a headphone, uh, little headphone uh, rack thing that you can you know, rest your headphones on basically. So it's a little hook for your headphones. Um, and it also has these straps. And I've seen these before on other stands where you can actually strap your keyboard down. I guess you would use that if you're in the live situation. I'm here in a studio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this puppy. We're going to set it up and we're going to see how cool liquid stands actually are. Again, they sent this stand to me with, you know, no obligation to them. They didn't pay me to say anything. This is all me being honest and upfront on how I uh, or what I think of this stand. So again, thanks to liquid stands for uh, sending this to me and uh, let's check it out. Shall we? Here we go. Well, all right, here we go. This is something that's very interesting to me because I reached out to this company. And as you can see, it's a big box because the end of the box is over here and it's, it's, it's a big box. I reached out to this company because I thought their stuff was unique uh, and they sent me something uh, which I'm gonna unbox right now. And uh, yeah. This is going to be pretty cool, so let's uh, let's get right to it. So what I did was I reached out to this company, like I said, because I thought their products were very cool, and uh, they sent me this without any hesitation. Uh, as long as I put their link in the um, the description, and you know what? Let me because there's a bunch of different stuff here, so let me put this over here like this so I can open the box so this company is called like I said at the beginning of the video liquid stands this is the second tier as you can see second tier uh, I'm gonna set this whole thing up they're uh, from Florida and this is the big piece down at the bottom here if I can get it up um, so these are keyboard stands by a company called Liquid Stands, like I said. Um, and what I find interesting about this company is this stand is totally, let me put this box here, <clears throat> sorry. This stand is very um, flexible. And what I mean by that, uh, it's it you're able to adjust the keyboards back and forth and stuff and um uh you know it's made in china but they um they're manufactured exclusively for liquid stands in tampa florida that's what it says right here <clears throat> so yeah so um i'm gonna set this puppy up i'm not gonna box it on this table uh i'm just gonna basically set it up and mess around with it and see what happens because I heard good things about them. I've seen some really cool videos. And also what I like about it too, is if you notice, they got their little hex panels in purple and that kind of matches Echo Craft Studio. Ho oh, ho, woo! All right, liquid stands, cool stuff. We're gonna set this up. I think I'm gonna put the Osmos on it and maybe something else on the second tier. We'll see what happens. Uh, again, very flexible. Once I adjust everything and set it all up. I'm gonna do another video and show you guys what that's all about. So without further ado, here we go, go, go.
All right, so there it is. This is the liquid stand, the two-tier liquid stand by liquid stands. It's pretty solid. It does feel a little top heavy. Um, I don't know, once you put something on it, it might be better. Um, let's see if I can get a better look at it here. I know this is in my living room. Unfortunately, I had to build it in my living room because I had no room anywhere else. Now I gotta find a place to put it in my studio. We'll add some keyboards to it. Uh, I can see why they sell the back pieces of it. I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna zoom in a little and show you if I go down with the camera. Right in here, they do have stabilizer pieces you can buy, I guess. Um, I wish they sent those to me because that would actually show you the, a little bit more stability on it, but I imagine once you put weight on the stand using, uh, you know, keyboards, because that's what it is, it's a keyboard stand. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Um, I imagine once you put weight here and put, put some weight here, uh, they're gonna be a lot more stable. And I do like the little extender they gave you on this thinner pole, it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I like it because there's definitely, um, you know, we can even go up a little bit. Let's go up a little bit on these guys. Uh, I like the way they go back. Now, on stage, I have an on stage keyboard stand that I have my Matrix Brute and my, uh, oops, and my, let me get that down in that hole there. There you go. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of a pain the way you do it here, but apparently, this is the way you do it. So let's see. Uh, I have my DeepMind 12, my Matrix Fruit on it, and I like because the, the keyboard stand sits back on the second tier, which is kind of nice. Yeah, this is kind of, kind of a pain here. And you can feel it go in the hole. can't really tell. That's the only thing that kind of stinks. If I can I want it to go inside the hole, that's not it either. Is that the last one? Let's see. I'm going to bring it up a little bit more. Yeah, that's the last. No, there it is right there. That's the last hole. Get that to click in. It's not clicking in. All right, so I managed to get it where I wanted it. But yeah, there it is. So let's see what happens. It's a great stand. It's just, you know, like everything else, you know, that you build or you get, there's gonna be flaws here and there. And I don't know why those are like that. But um, yeah. Let's see what happens when we put something on it. Cool. Okay, so there it is. The liquid stands. Pretty cool. Very nice. Liquid stands sent me this stand for a review and that's what I'm doing. Right now I have the Osmos Expressive E on there. I just wanna go back here and just show you something. These guys right here I thought were broken. It didn't snap. They're on springs inside so that they go in each hole. I'm an idiot. What can I say? Um, and I love the two tear. This is a very solid stand. And I love the fact that these knobs are nice and big, but this is really what's cool about this. This bar and the top bar on this two tear you can adjust so you can make it wider or you can make it smaller. Um, and I'll just show you what it looks like in the studio. Um, but yeah, it is a really nice stand. It really is. Um, I'm very happy that they sent it to me so I could actually review it. I don't know if they want it back. 
Maybe they do, I don't know. But there it is. I think it's great. It fits perfect in this area. Again, we'll do a, we'll do a, a top view. I will be doing uh, putting another um, keyboard or maybe some effects pedals or something on the second tier. The other thing is, is being able to adjust these guys in and out like that. And also, from what I understand, I could put a mic stand on here or maybe even like some type of a clamp that I could use for a camera. It's amazing. They make great stands. Now, I just want to swing over here and just show you something. This right here, this part of the stand, this is a uh, on stage stand. Now, this I actually jerry rigged. <laughs> I bought this on Amazon and I tore it apart, put new bolts on it, and I built this uh, third tier on here. Now, both, but that's that's not what I'm showing you this for. What I'm showing you. I know the studio's a mess and I apologize. This is the on-stage one that actually was really cool. And the reason why I like this is because how far back this second tier goes from the bottom tier. And I like that. And that's why I have my Matrix Brute uh, right here and my DeepMind 12 on here. And then I got that other thing and extended it and put this on top so that I have three tiers now. And I like the height of this so I can still get into the controls of the deep mind. That's why I looked at this stand and was interested in it. And that's why I wanted to review it because I think that this is just as good as that, if not better, because it's, I think it's solid. Again, liquid stands, great stuff. I'm gonna put uh, in the description, I'm gonna put in uh, where you can purchase it. I'm gonna put in uh, the affiliate link, and also uh, I'll put in their link, and you can just go to deep uh, to uh, to liquidstands.com and check out all their stuff. They're also sold on Amazon.com, so check them out. Liquid Stands, cool beans. Well, all right. So there you go, Liquid Stands. Sorry about the logo and stuff on the screen. <laughs> Next to me, I'm having some issues with my computer right now uh, and getting online. Um, but, you know, that's technology for you. But, yeah, so Liquid Stands, awesome. I'm glad they sent this to me to review. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description. And I also have an affiliate link with Liquid Stands. So any little bit to contribute to my channel would help. But you should definitely check their stands out. They're very cool. Um, solid little stand, man. I like it a lot. I'm going to do another video on it, um, show you what the second tier is going to look like. But please uh, like and subscribe. And like I always say, stay frosty, stay creative. Thank you, Liquid Stands. And peace.